What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by Daniel Stark and Scott Gearman, here to talk a little bit of World Series. We've got our matchup set, the Rangers versus the Diamondbacks. We're going to get into who are we rooting for in this matchup. But guys, let me start with something that I was posting about on social media uh, last night that, that drew a little bit of traction. And Scott, I'll come to you with this one first. I'll ask you this way. Does Arizona making the World Series change the way you feel about the Dodgers' failure? Uh, no, it doesn't really move the needle for me that much. Arizona's doing exactly you know what they need to do, not overwhelmingly, but just yeah. enough to win baseball games. Like they're playing a very, you know, hate to say it, man, but a very gritty style of baseball. <laughs> getting guys on base, stealing a bag, knocking them in, making a pitcher work. It's just, it's been interesting to watch. It's been fun. They're putting, you know, teams in a lot of uncomfortable spots Dodgers included then the uh you know moved on to the uh, Philadelphia Phillies but no doesn't change for me about the Dodgers they're just doing a lot to win baseball games in October Daniel my point when I was posting was this is a team that had a negative run differential coming into the postseason they were uh, you know barely qualified for the playoffs I think they lost their last four games coming in I believe they had 87 wins on the season the fact that that team makes it all the way to the World Series to me just reinforces it doesn't change the way I feel about the Dodgers because the way I felt about the Dodgers reflected how random and dumb sometimes the MLB postseason is this is two years in a row that the number six seed has advanced to the World Series in the National League I'm curious where you stand do you fall on that line like hey maybe we shouldn't overreact to what the Dodgers did because look at what this system produces or are you with Scott are you seeing something that the Diamondbacks are doing that only reinforces maybe frustration with what the Dodgers put on tape uh, a couple weeks ago? Uh, I, I mean, I definitely think it's both. Like, I think we could be frustrated with the Dodgers not showing up and at the same time give the Diamondbacks credit for, for making it this far. Like, I think if you ask any of us, right, even still sitting here today on whatever day it is, October 25th, who's the more talented team between yeah. the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks? I still think we'd all say the Dodgers, but that doesn't mean you're going to win in a, in a short series. We all know how random the, the MLB postseason is. And I think this year is epitomizes that. Like this yeah. is the most random World Series you could have drew up between uh, the Diamondbacks and the Rangers. Um, but look, at the end of the day, every team that's good enough to make the playoffs is good enough to reach the World Series. You just got to yeah. play well. And that's what the Diamondbacks are doing right now. Um, you know, I, I think it's a shock to everyone that they've made it this far. But when you actually watch the games, uh, like Scott said, they're executing, they're they're making the plays when they need to make it, and, and that's you know the recipe for success. But but I mean, I, I still think at the end of the day, like at, as far as sports go, MLB is the most random like postseason by far. Um, any team can win it. That's not something you see in, in many other sports, and and that's it. It just is what it is. Like you just like yet yes, the goal is always to build the most talented team possible. Um, and the Dodgers should continue to stick with that strategy moving forward. Uh, but there's still luck involved and, and you got to get hot at the right time. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now with the Diamondbacks. Yeah, I joke that that their pitcher, Brandon Fott, was, is kind of the poster child for this. This is a guy who had a 5.72 ERA, a 1.41 whip coming in. He basically had Lance Lynn numbers coming into the postseason. And in his last three postseason starts, 14 innings, just eight hits allowed and two earned runs. I mean, the guy against the best teams in the league, you know, the Phillies, the Dodgers and the Brewers has become one of the best pitchers of baseball, apparently. So shout out to shout out to him <laughs> and to the Diamondbacks for figuring out how to make that happen. Um, let's talk, though, about this matchup. Rangers, Diamondbacks, um, the Diamondbacks, the NL West. You know, if we want to root for the division, are we rooting for the division? But no former Dodgers on the team, which sometimes it's like there's former Dodgers we don't have any interest in rooting for. We'll get to at least one of those on the Texas side of things. <laughs> but they have none, none that we like, none that we dislike. The Rangers side, there's a ton. Obviously, the headliner is Corey Seager, a guy that we all love, Dodger fans love, was the hero of the 2020 World Series. So he's on Texas. You've also got Max Scherzer on that as maybe a guy that uh, – we're not all actively rooting for to win a World Series. <laughs> You've got some random ones. Nathan Eovaldi, former Dodger, is on there. Andrew Heaney, former Dodger, is on there. Josh Spores, former Dodger, <laughs> is on the Rangers. So, Daniel, I'll come to you. Um, I, I, I lean towards – I was kind of rooting for the Rangers from the moment that the Dodgers got eliminated, so I'm happy to see them as heavy favorites in the World Series. Um, 
I mean, you're you're Mr. Seeger over here, so I, yeah. I can't imagine that that there's any Diamondbacks gear in the Starkin household. Yeah. Well, first of all, I just want to address the Max Scherzer thing. Up until this point, he's like that kid in the group project that does nothing and gets an A. Um, yes. he, I think he he went like two innings the other night, and 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 uh, Bruce Bochy yanked him. Uh, but hey, good for him. Uh, but but yeah, you hit it on the head. I'm a I'm a Seeger guy. Um, anytime he's not playing the Dodgers, I'm a root for him. He's, you know, he's, he was my favorite Dodger, um, when he was here. So, um, definitely rooting for the Rangers at the same time though. Like you would think if another NL West team was in the world series and had swept the Dodgers in the playoffs, like you would think I would have like have more ill will towards the Diamondbacks, but I really don't feel that way towards them at all. Like, like the Giants and the Padres, if they were in this spot, I would be like heavily rooting against them. Um, but I just don't really feel that way towards the Diamondbacks. Like, good for them. Um, credit to them for making it this far. Um, I am rooting for the Rangers, but it's not like like if the Diamondbacks win it, I'm not going to be you know torn up or anything. Yeah, I said that when when we got the matchup against the Diamondbacks, that like if we lost to the Diamondbacks, it would hurt because we lost. It would have nothing to do with the Diamondbacks in the same way that Padres and Giants, as you mentioned. Scott, let me throw one more wrinkle at you. Texas winning the World Series, it feels like you know, uh, increases the possibility that Clayton Kershaw puts on a Texas Rangers jersey next season. And maybe you could argue that them making it to the World Series for the first time has kind of already sort of um, signified that they, they've they arrived, that they're ready to be serious competitors, and that if Kershaw wants to win a World Series, it's a team that he at least has a decent chance of doing that with. I'm not going to say better than the Dodgers. But that would be the only thing, Scott, that I can think of as to why the Rangers winning would be bad news. Where do you land on Rangers and Diamondbacks? You know, uh, to Clayton Kershaw, sure, that's absolutely a landing spot. Yeah, you look at it, the stats that have come out about the Diamondbacks and the Rangers, it only took them, you know, four combined seasons to uh, from their 100 loss seasons in 2021, both to reach yeah. the World Series. And I think that's the fastest uh, ever, which is remarkable. You know, I heard a couple in weeks two ago different that paths, by the way, yeah, the Rangers absolutely. just throwing money at free agents and the Diamondbacks developing guys like Corbin Carroll. Yeah, I mean, you also with you know Texas Rangers, you get guys like Evan Carter, twenty one years old, comes out and solidifies himself, and you know kind of takes off. So even with as bad as their bullpen's been, you just never know. Bats win, guys get hot. It just it it solidifies even more that when areas get hot, you're able to carry yourself. But it, it's just it's been pretty the most random matchup we could have ever guessed. <laughs> so uh, but I don't hate it. I, I know everyone's going to talk about ratings, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy this postseason. It's great. Corey Seager's there. Uh, and we're going to be rooting for the Rangers. Uh, it's just fun, man. Uh, yeah. The biggest thing for me is I'm really excited to see how, um, you know, Brandon fought. He's kind of elevated himself from regular season kind of, you know, punching bag. And he's looked unhittable. Yeah. He's looked made him Bryce. You know, last night I made Bryce Harper look really silly on some of those hard sweepers inside. It's just really great stuff to see that, you know, the ascension from kind of regular season unknown. To, they have kind of a three-headed monster out there in Arizona, yeah. so it'll be interesting how they match up with the Rangers. So it's just for me, I'm excited as a baseball fan when you look more into it instead of just the name of the team, and that's what people need to do. Yeah, well, that would surprise me because I've been, you know, all the passion and grit that Bryce Harper has, I'm surprised that he failed in the postseason. I was told <laughs> yeah, that right? wasn't possible. Daniel, you pointed out the Rangers were 17-1 to to, to win the World Series when this began. Um, that was eighth among the 12 teams that made it the diamondbacks were tied for dead last at 30 to one with the marlins so interesting matchup let, let me give you um let's get to some predictions real quick i'll put you on the spot i actually at one point in one of our shows i think i picked the rangers to come out of the american league so i feel <laughs> some semblance i do have a rangers win the world series ticket not that old so but the odds are better than what they are now we'll put it that way mm -hmm. um but I, I'll, I'll take the rangers in five i know the uh, diamondbacks so it's a nice story but uh but give me the rangers in five so I, I think for me, all future MLB postseason predictions will be decided via coin flip. Um, that's that's just the the best way to do it at this point. And also, I think in future years, I think just throw a few bucks on all like the the biggest underdogs going into the playoffs, just yeah. because you never know what what might happen as as we're seeing this year. Um, I, I'll I'll agree with you though. I think the Rangers uh, Rangers in six. I think their their offense is just on another level right now. Adolis Garcia had yeah. uh, fifteen RBIs in a seven game series and five home runs in the last four games. Uh, absolutely insane. And and that's you know he he outshined Corey Seager, which is hard to do when when that guy's locked in in October as well. So uh, I, I think the Rangers bats are too much. I'll take them in six. 
Scotty, Rangers or the the Diamondbacks are plus 150 to win the World Series. Rangers are like minus 170, depending on where you look. So heavy favorites. You agreeing with Daniel and I and taking the Rangers? Yeah, I'm going with the Rangers. Uh, Diamondbacks, I believe I'm not going to pull the old won't surprise me. Great. You're going against the gritty Diamondbacks, Scott? No, Come I'm on. Going, they're just, I'm they're going, stealing I'm going the bag, against I heard. Them. I'm going against them. I got to upset my buddy JB, one of the only like true Diamondbacks fans I know. Shout out to him. But I'm going to say Diamondbacks and or Diamondbacks. Rangers and six. Okay. Uh, and Bruce Boshi is six and zero oh in winner take all games. So if it makes it to seven, we know how that's going. Bruce yeah, Boshi, man, shout the, out to uh, him. The CS either, I believe he's what five and zero oh in championship series, like yep, series crazy, altogether. Man. So, so there you go. Just, that's the key. He's, he's the guy. Yeah, that's, that's the team. That's the guy. That's what we're if drinking. He, he misses the playoffs half the time, but the time that he does <laughs> make the playoffs, you know, and gets to the CS, <laughs> he's amazing. So that's what we need. More grit, like Bruce Boshi. Yep. Uh, that's Daniel. That's Scott. Let us know what you think below. We've all got the Rangers winning this one i've got them in five daniel and scott have them in six you agree are we uh anybody pulling for the nl west wanting to see the diamondbacks take one i imagine that's a small group but who knows hey enjoy the rest of your uh your day folks we appreciate you joining us um you know even though the dodgers aren't playing we end the same way go dodgers mm -hmm.